Hey, Mike. Good morning, you guys. We're going to keep this train running with new Nine at Nine songs, keeping it in house yet again. You know, sometimes we forget that our own Dan Ponce has what? a real talent for singing. Get out of here. You don't believe me? Take a look. Doom, 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 doom. You're waking up at nine o'clock. You miss Ponce, Jiggins, and the shot. <laughs> but don't you feel bad? Here comes a guy named Conrad, and he is gonna stop the nine at nine. <laughs> <laughs> Talent in this building right here. Wow. Yeah. How about that walking I did in there? Yeah. That was good. Right you had a real bounce in Boom. your step. You didn't even know you were going to be in there. Yeah, in I didn't know. Yeah. That's well, that good was... acting because most of the time you don't walk around with any bounce in your step. Yeah. 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 So, a lot of bounce. That was great. You're uh, welcome. Should we start it? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, all right, not? number nine. If you're looking for any lifelike mannequins, and I know you are, we yeah. found some. Ooh. These are some of the options we found on Etsy. They're known as flesh tone fiberglass mannequins, which huh. God knows those, God knows what those are being used for. Made to look as lifelike as possible. They're designed for people who own stores to display their clothes and accessories yeah. or to haunt people's dreams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or worse. Sheesh. Ew. Sorry. All right. There's a crane Number eight. coming through. Yeah. Uh, TikTok has become a nightmare for people who work at Starbucks. That's because people share videos of all the sorts of crazy concoctions they've come up with, and then the public wants to try them. But if you work at Starbucks, it ain't fun when there's a 10-car line at the drive-thru and yeah. you have to make a frappuccino with extra whipped cream, double blended with caramel syrup, three pumps of cinnamon, oh, and come honey on. fried bananas, and on and on it goes. Uh, the Starbucks workers are showing their frustration by posting some drink orders uh, that are as long as war and peace. Can you imagine? Yeah, customer service. Got to wow. keep everyone mm -hmm. happy, no matter how crazy they are. <sighs> we all know that here. Oh, yeah. And number seven, know what your yard needs? A little whimsy. Oh, doesn't it? We oh. found these adorable little critters wow. online. They popped up on our Facebook feed. They're oh. only $9.99 each. Look at that, how cute. The company's called Poise Cut, uh. P-O-Y-S-K-U-T. Wowie. You never know about these places, Ooh, so if you're willing to risk it, give it a shot, but boy. That's whimsy. That Almost is... makes me want to have a yard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You can put them right up on your deck. Yeah, it's too windy up there. Oh, they fall right nuts. Off. <laughs> Number six, we never get tired of seeing the amazing abilities of the Belgian Malinois. Here's a quick clip of this amazing dog. Oh, boy. Wowee. What? Look at that. Wow. Boy, what was he chasing? Ready? Whee! I wonder how they talk him into doing this. I don't know. That is amazing. So are they known to be better jumpers than... Yeah, those. remember oh, we yeah. showed the video? They can, like, like, climb oh. trees. Yeah. Oh. Have you seen John Wick 3 yet? No. I haven't seen one or two, so I don't want to start with three. I can't believe you've not seen John Wick. The amount of television and movies you watch, you've not seen. All well, the I don't crap understand. you watch. I got confused because that's the Keanu Reeves one, right? Yeah. yeah. So is it part of the Matrix or is that some separate? No, from the see, Matrix? here's the thing. Actors, they can appear in different movies <laughs> that are <laughs> related. So yeah. you know, like it Harrison like Ford was Han Solo and also Indiana Jones, but they're two different Yeah. Oh, those are different genres? Yeah, it's uh, crazy how that works. But he looked but, like he was wearing the same costume. Again, well, sometimes they, you know, characters will wear the same color jacket in different movies. Yeah, <laughs> and some actors like Keanu simply just kind of play themselves in it. Oh, he's yeah. lovely. I don't know why. Is it just all beating people up all the whole movie? Is that what it is? Yeah, shooting them in the head, uh, but yeah, it's beating them up too. Yeah. Right? A lot of headshots. I need a little story there. Yeah, you know? yeah well, then you'd be disappointed. Right. <laughs> uh, number five, the history of the Italian beef sandwich. Ooh. There oh, is nothing more good? Chicago. Some may oh, argue that it's the hot hungry. dog. They'd lose. There is some debate about who actually served the first Italian beef, but we know how it started. In the early 1900s, Italian immigrants didn't have a lot of money, 
They held peanut weddings in backyards or at home. They served the guests beef sandwiches, and someone quicker, quickly realized that slicing the beef thinner would serve twice as many people. And from there, the Italian beef sandwich, as we know it, was born. Huh. And thank God for that. Yeah. Mm. That looks good. Yeah. Number four. <clears throat> uh, people share these types of images online with uh, dis the descriptor, awful taste, great execution. Yeah. It's when the whole thing is pretty tacky, but you admire the craftsmanship. Oh, yeah. Here like this show. Them. Yeah. That's a toilet right there. <laughs> Beautiful, right? Oh, a <laughs> denim dress oh, made out of jeans. <laughs> What's that? What is that, Paul? Uh, that's a oh, it's a dresser. A dresser oh. shelving thing. A what motorcycle it? helmet? Look how beautiful that is. Huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, MJ. yeah. Close. Close enough. Wow. Again, great execution. Oh, is that a chandelier? Not enough sconces on cars. You're right. Ooh. Boy. Lovely. Mm. Mm. All right, number three, if you hate to cook, there's this option. All right. The Go Sun Sizzler lets you cook everything at once. You can make a full course meal for a family of five outdoors without making a fire or hooking up a propane tank. What? And you can do it in about 30 minutes flat. I sound like I'm in the commercial. Yeah. Just say, just uh, like the name says, it's solar powered. It was invented by a rocket scientist, which explains the look and feel of it. And there's a reason why it's so quick. The solar reflect reflector is really big. so. It isn't easy to lug around if you're going, you know, for a barbecue at the Forest Preserve. It's more useful for long-term trips or in the yard. It also has a backup plug-in so you can cook in the dark or in cloudy weather. I still don't get what it's doing. Wow. It's $800, though. Look, just put that in there. And how long does it take? It depends on what you're cooking, I guess, and how you I'll like your meat. Are, yeah. But it has to fit in that tube? Yeah. Look how happy he is. He looks really happy. He looks yeah. really happy well, on the computer there. Look at look that. Him. Okay. Mm. You've never had stir fry beef until you've had it in a solar cooker, though. I can yeah. tell you that right look now. Look at that. that. All right, number two, a farmer in Belgium accidentally moved the French border. There's a stone that has been up since 1919 that marks the border, but the farmer was annoyed that the stone was right in his way, so he yeah. moved it a bit. A local history buff was out for a walk, and he noticed that the boundary between the two cu countries had moved seven feet. <laughs> the farmer has made Belgium larger. The mayor of the village on the French side had a laugh about it, and he says they can avoid the first meeting of the Border Commission in about 100 years if the farmer just moves it back. Or they could just go to war. Yeah, that's, yeah, uh, that's, that's an easy way to solve it. Mm -hmm. Number one, Larry, this one's for you. Mm -hmm. Uh, about 26 years ago this week, the Boston Celtics played their last regular season home game at the old Boston Garden, and they came up with a cool way to say goodbye. They gathered all the best players and ran an all-time Celtic fast break, kicked off by former coach and president Red Auerbach. Red goes to Tiny. Tiny. And to Gene Conley. Over to Lowski. Don't take a charge, Lowski. Over to Easy Ed. Easy at to Walton. Walton to Bailey Howe. Bailey Howe to Frank. Charlie Scott. DJ in the middle. ML. Oh Don Nelson. JoJo. Oh. Down to Sam. Tommy Heinsohn. No, Tommy. Bill Sharman. He passes it up in the Satch. Satch to Kuz. Kuz goes behind his back to Bill Russell. Russell to Havlicek. He stole the ball. No, he can't steal the ball. Get back there. Huh. Wow. That was nice. Yeah. That was nice. I was expecting some running when you hear fast break, you know, but. Right, that was a slow yeah. break. Well, that's fast for their age. It was, yeah. yeah. It, was just, it was about the emotion and the symbolism. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of pressure on Larry Legend to make that layup, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> he bones that layup. I know. That, right, you got to start all over yeah. again. <laughs> yeah, do the whole thing. Wow. That is the 9 at 9. Do you remember that, Larry? I don't. It's the 9 at 9. All right.